so pine, right? We spent 20 years moving away from pine on the <laughs> exterior it because it kind of peels the paint and it rots, yep. and you're back to it. What's We're going on? It. When we think of pine, we think of knots, we think of twisting and warping and moisture and... Rotting and throwing the paint off. All of that stuff. Yeah. And this pine is basically engineered to outperform any of those problems. But it is natural, right? We were talking a natural material. It's a natural material. It, uh, it's grown in New Zealand. The species is Redata, and it's actually farmed. So the process is that they start from saplings and they prune every year until it's fully grown. Huh. So that way you don't have any branches. If you don't have any branches, you don't have any knots. All right. And I see that you've got a pile here. So we're talking uh, different sizes, different profiles. I mean, what do you got? You got yep. crown here. Got crown, tongue and groove, yeah. beaded or V groove. We got one by stock in every dimension. Huh. We have five quarter stock in every dimension. Historic sill, which is right off the shelf. So we pretty much have everything we need. So you guys didn't have to mill that up. You can didn't buy have to that. mill it, right? And you got the lengths you need too? Yep. You get 12s and 16s? 12s and 16s. Nice, all right. So, I mean, it's primed obviously, but why isn't this stuff rotting like regular pine? Well, the secret is in the process. This is a chemically injected, pressure treated process with a solvent based preservative that goes right to the core of the lumber hmm. and it's kiln dried then two coats of oil-based primer are applied right in the factory. It comes to us ready for paint, very stable. PT trim. All right, looks so like you guys are starting with the sill. We're gonna start with the sill. Hey, we're just gonna put a 45 on this outside corner at the intersection of where our casing meets the sill. Okay, now we're gonna reverse the angle 45 degrees the other way. And same thing, we're gonna meet the intersection. Okay, so now we're just gonna glue this return piece onto the end of our casing so that it continues back into the house. Yep. We're gonna do that with a two-part adhesive. Ryan's going to put the one part on one side. So this is going to be a real quick set and we're not going to have to shoot a nail even That's correct. Nice. That's correct. That's the nice part about it. We're not sliding around. Now we're going to spray the activator on the other side. And then once you set it, it sets very fast. You have about five seconds before it sets and you're not moving it at all. So you got to make sure that that miter is just how you like it. Okay, so now we'll do the other side. So we got to make sure we get full coverage. Then we take our activator. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, now we can cut our legs. Okay, so now we're going to drill for our pocket screws. Okay, we own it. We own it. Fits pretty good down here. How about up there? I like it. Okay, we're just going to drive it in with an eight penny ring shank nail. So here you're just face nailing it. If we were using a PVC, you might pre-drill, screw, and then fill it with a bung? Yeah, absolutely. So that instead, we're just going to use regular stainless steel ring shank nails, and then we fill it with exterior wood fill. Do that all day long with pine. Yep. All right, well, definitely easy to work with, being pine and all. I mean, it looks good, almost ready for paint, right? Yeah, we just uh, run our crown up to the soffit, and uh, we're on to finishing the rest of them. Terrific. All right, thanks, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.